Hey guys, I want to do a quick addition actually to navigation. I thought that was a 10 minute video. I thought it was running out of 10 minutes, but it was actually only five minutes. And I actually do have other things to talk about uh, as far as um, navigation. Let's put that box back in there, F key to frame. Uh, one of the things I want to talk about is selection because I think that's kind of part of nav navigation. We have tools over here uh, to st in Maya to uh, select. This is uh, vertex, edges, and faces. Uh, each one of them will as you can see, faces, you can select a face, edges, you can select the edge, and I'm not selecting these, I'm just rolling over them, which is kind of nice to see what you're about to select. Vertex, same thing with vertices. Um, and whereas, and of course, in, in Blender, you have to be in uh, the, uh, the object's edit mode, and, um, and of course, the whole right-click select, this is probably everybody's um, kind of pain with learning Blender, it's, a, it's actually a right-click select rather than in Maya's uh, left-click select, but selection is fine. That's actually, you know, a little bit nicer. You have to be a little bit more accurate uh, in Maya, I find, which is kind of strange. To deselect, you have to you have to select off the object. Now, I don't know what's going to happen when you have a ton of stuff in this scene. You're just going to be selecting. You're always going to have something selected, I guess. I guess nobody cares. Uh, but as far as the selection, you, you if you notice, you, you have to be pretty dead on there. you got to be within a few pixels uh, to be able to... It's, it's strange because, you know, if you look at this one, I'm way far away and I can select that one. Uh, so it's pretty odd. I don't, I don't quite... haven't quite figured out how the selection thing... If it's facing you, 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 you know, you can really easily select it. If it's kind of back here, it's kind of difficult to select things, whereas um, Blender, it doesn't seem to care you can be you know it can be the further away and you can select it by you know pretty pretty far away you can see the distance there even though it's the further uh, vertex it doesn't really care uh, to me that that's more intuitive that I can I kind of see what they're trying to do here where they're saying maybe you don't want to select this or we're making it harder to select uh, yeah, no. I <laughs> when I get close to a vert, I want to be able to select it. It's kind of a pain um, to have to click right dead on it. You know, that's kind of a pain in the butt. Um, so, but it is a left click select, which is in fact uh, more intuitive, uh, in my opinion. Uh, one of the probably the single worst thing about Maya, and boy, I, I hope somebody out there knows uh, a better solution to this is in the selections, uh, you actually, if you have, say, four vertices selected, uh, there is no swapping to faces. Um, so if you go to face mode, um, you notice the face of those vertices is not selected. I go back to vert mode, the four verts are selected. You actually have, a, have to do a conversion to get that to work. So if you, uh, what is it, come up here to select and convert this selection, um, you have to convert it to faces uh, somehow, man. And and even then, it's not. Uh, it's really not intuitive. Not only does it. Uh, I just did um, edges. Uh, let's try that again. Let's convert it. Uh, selection. Convert selection to faces, and check this out. It doesn't even select just this face because that vert was touching other faces. It selects every face that it was touching. It's completely, it's terrible. Like that's, <laughs> that's one of the biggest things I've been struggling with is like, why would they do such a thing? Uh, such a strange, odd thing to do. Um, of course, in Blender, uh, if you select four vertex in a face, it automatically selects that face. And it does not matter if you're in face mode or edge mode or vertex mode. Those four verts, those edges, that face is always selected, which totally makes sense to me. Um, also to switch, uh, you notice I'm all clicking the buttons. I'm not really a button person. I'm a hot key button. Uh, I'm a hot key person. So control tab is of course what we use in Blender. Uh, control tab and then uh, select say face or whatever. This is actually faster uh, in Maya um, because you can do this context menu. At first I didn't get this because I, I kept holding down the button until I saw what I was looking for and then I would switch. Um, when in fact, uh, I was watching a dude, uh, work and I realized he never does this. He never holds the button down. What he does is he swipes and he swipes down for a face and he swipes over for an edge. And then once he get used to that, I've actually started doing this and boy, it's, it's really fast. Um, 
The only problem is uh, it's a little bit weird in the sense that you can really make a mistake quickly. Um, but uh, if you know what you're doing, I'm sure with some practice for me, this is going to be a really fast way to switch um, switch around from verts. And, and that's probably what they're using all this other stuff to. There's no way you could do that with this whole menu, but, um, but definitely for these things, very quick way to work, actually. So... Um, uh, that is very impressive, but uh, but boy, I'm am discouraged about this whole, you know, converting uh, vertex to faces. I think if I let's see if I click off. Let's see, you know, that deselect thing is kind of a pain too. I, I'd rather I'd rather there be a key to deselect. Uh, there was a key for Lightwave. There's a key for Blender. There's not one for Maya. You have to actually click off. And again, that it's fine when you're working with a cube, but I'm usually working with scenes with millions of polygons, and there's stuff everywhere. And as soon as I click off, I'm actually going to be selecting something else, which is not what I want to do. Um, so it would be nice to have a deselect button. Again, it's more of a the interface is more of the difference between buttons and um, and hotkeys. Uh, Maya has very few hotkeys, uh, whereas Blender. Uh, much like Lightwave is mostly hotkey centric, which I'm, again, I just find more intuitive uh, and faster, much, much faster than trying to find a button or trying to dig through a menu, which I, uh, I've been constantly doing, especially for the tools. Um, they have no, no way of quickly select, selecting a tool. Uh, you always have to dig through some kind of menu. Uh, where, of course, if you've, uh, you Blender guys should know that you just hit the space bar and whatever tool you want, um, you know, extrude, you're going to find it uh, in every version of it. So uh, that's kind of nice. They don't, they don't seem to have that in Maya uh, that, I, that I have found, um, which is sad. But uh, so it just takes a little bit longer to do some things. Uh, this is pretty good for this. You know, this should wrap up uh, at least what I had to to look at in navigation. There's, that's the good and the bad, but um, we'll get into tools uh, next video for sure, I promise this time. Thanks.